Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let's play with your least favorite video. In today's episode, we're going to be going to the Birdu Inn and potentially taking on the Thord Gym. So let's get started. Actually, Bosh, um, I did some stuff off screen. I got some raid encounters and I got this thing. This is a Clobopus. And it apparently evolves into a fighting water type because my friend spoiled that to me when I was asking for names for this. I love when I always ask him for names, he says he would na name them. He always spoils and never gives me a name. It always happens. And then I got some other Pokemon. I got this Furlings, which is apparently multiple Pokemon fighting together as one Pokemon. Very interesting. Um, I caught this off screen. I, oh, I caught this off screen. I found it on the route before we entered or re entered the city again and then uh where is it i think it's right here yeah um i did render trading i got 69 uh render trades just seeing if there was a shiny out there and guess what there was no shiny on surprise trading and well i got this a silly cobra it exists i guess and i got a super um large extra pumpkin boo so i'm happy but yeah we're gonna take on the third gem potentially also um i looked up how to get this and actually, know how to do the cutscene, that little side thing. Actually, I'll do it real quick. I have my bike and everything. The bike makes everything go faster, I learned. So. It's a pill Okay, you have to. You have to get off your bike, I guess. And then you gotta stand right here. And you just call. I literally went everywhere in the last, like, I don't know what episode. I think it was episode 8, episode 7. I went everywhere in the city, but this area, I didn't even know you could go back here. And, well, guess what? Y you can. <laughs> I just, I I'm just like, I explored the wild area. I explored this area, or the entire city. And I couldn't find it, because I'm an idiot. I just love it. And I hope there's more psychos like that. I'm gonna hopefully not look them up, but I will if I get confused. It annoyed me so much in like, five episodes I couldn't... Find it. Machino came back. Thank you for helping me. Or oh, thank you for helping me find it. Please take this. It's a way of saying thank you. The bottle of throw spray. What is throw spray? Throw spray. Raise the special attack when a Pokemon uses a sound based move. When a Pokemon? Does that mean you can use it? If so, boom burst on like 12, which is not in this game. Plus one special attack, heat wave, destroy everything. Generation 9, generation 8.5. Eh, eh, eh. No. Also, I just need to see if everything's going fine. Ooh, it's money. Everything's going fine, though. I'm just gonna help. Yeah, okay, everything's going fine. You just have to make sure OBS is doing everything fine. Uh, Challenger's Edge, right? I'll give it all. Uh, even this late, huh? Well, AM in the morning, but okay. Hey, help me with something for a second. I wanna see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. All right. Belling money. Wicked, got some fun in you, huh? Oh no. I see them in the background. Okay. It's what's this? Pokemon? Bring money. I just haven't listened to the theme, so it's actually gonna be a good time to do this. So far, I like it. But, um, she leads with the Crow Grant, which is a shield exclusive. I feel awful if I lose, but there's no way I'm going to. I think she said. And I lead off with a Pokemon that's four times effective to a Hawes, so that's fantastic. She sucker punches me though, because, you know, why not sucker punch me? Anyway, she even got a critical hit. Why not? She, because she's not dead. Oh, she's dead. It doesn't matter on the end. I should really like this thing. I'm taking it off because I can't do it. It feels like I'm underwater talking. I just love how the music cuts out. I really like this thing, actually. Scraggy. Oh, she's gonna have all dark types. It makes sense now. Okay, now if that's the game we're playing, I have my fine type right here that's actually overloaded. I thought I didn't have Simon on my team. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is Simon on my team? I need my Raboot. Also, I got spoiled on uh, what the thing evolves to do because raid battles. I did online raid battles. So that's fun. I know, I was bored, I was bored. I didn't want to record this episode until I actually had like, the ability to record it, for sure. And... Oh. I got 193 Pokemon in the Pokedex? 
Also, I found another bug type that I'm adding to my team. I don't care if I'm having two bug types. Um, it's a bug ice type. I got it through Render Trade when I was doing the 69. Render Trade's all in all. Fantastic. Also, I've, um, I've added the new, um, Copa, which I said that kind of demotivated me in, like, episode 7's description. Because it did. I was like, oh. I'm gonna get fined if I don't, like, have comments or anything. Ooh, that's gonna be kind of sad. I don't care about posting my dads. It'd be no fun things, it'd be no fun if things ended just yet. Oh, she said. And I was really worried that would affect my content, but apparently, um, they're gonna be kind like, it's very vague, but I think it's vague because they're only going after the people that are, like, seriously doing this. Of course, it can be always used for other people and everything, but I'm gonna try to see if she's not gonna do that. Oh, they're not gonna do that. Hmm, do you think this is pressing my feeling? Or do you think this move is pressing my feeling? No. Okay, so it is electric dog. I thought only turns to a dog type when it goes in hungry mode, but I've been a little bit lied to. Uh, it's been hangry. Oh no. Oh no. I made it hangry. You know what? Oh, I still got moving milks. I did a lot of off-screen things. Also, I have over one million pocket dollars, by the way. I'm rich until I find a good clothing store. I know there's next one in the next city, I believe, so I believe it's called Hammerlock. I was looking at how to um, evolve um, Milk Creamy level into Owl Creamy, and it is so wild. You have to get an item, hand it to him, and you only get this, um, you can only get three items of this item per day, but there's no chance of you finding it in the wild. So you only get this three times a day, and there's a chance that you don't get the item. I didn't get the item my first try. You have to spin it in place at day or night. For five or ten seconds, and then you unlock. So it just switches between hanging modes. That's fantastic. It's a completely wild, and the funny thing is, I lived at one HP, and I got flinched. You gotta be kidding me. This game is garbage. Zero out of ten. Worst game in the Pokemon franchise. Why did um, Microsoft release this? I expected more from the people that made Last of Us. Um, but. There's 63 different forms, I believe. 53 or 63. You know what? I'm going for. I'm thinking about going for a living desk, which means I'm gonna have to get every single our creamy form and gender difference. That's not gonna be a problem. I can get combies and milk combies and female combies for days. I already have one here, so this is not gonna be hard. Um. Yeah, no. Get out of here. You are in quick attack. That's not gonna do anything. That you did less damage than I thought my thought was possible. I'm getting all the dog creamy forms, that's what I'm saying. So if I get three items a day, 63, uh, that means in 11 days I will have it. And that only means if I get lucky every single day and I get a different one each and every time. I'm not going for a shiny living desk. It, I, I, my shiny luck is impossible. Oh, so she just healed up on me. I'm mad. I'm actually mad. I actually like her theme. I actually really like her theme. Now it's out of hangry mode. I love how it switches from every, every turn. In the pre-release like information, it was like, oh, if we only use um or it will, it changes form. But nope, not no 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 no, it's every single turn. You is this this thing have serene grace? Am I this unlucky? I thought I could shiny hunt in this game. I would take like 80k encounters. You gotta be kidding. My luck is actually terrible today. This is why I did not get a shiny on surprise training. I need rep for this. Sit up and everything, and I miss a 95% accurate move. I'm mad. I'm actually mad. This game sucks. So I love how um, I have like, like I saw Shady Penguin uploaded, I think it's Shady Penguin, uploaded his second gym badge. At episode 9, I'm like, oh, I think episode 9 is, I'm not going to be to the first gym. Oops. I'm beginning it slow and steady, though. Enjoying myself. I don't want to kind of end this soon. I don't want to end this soon because I want to get in competitive um, before the online event. I want to do a bunch of online competitive battles. If you get another flinch, I'm going to cry. Why are you doing this to me? You get another flinch. If you get another flinch. Thank you. Thank 
you. Yeah, are you kidding me? That did nothing. Okay, that did a lot more than I thought. I think I'll love another attack. If it doesn't, ha if there's another move than bite, I'm actually gonna die to a hit. But it only has bite. The only move it has in the moves it, you know what? Chance. The, ch the highest chance is that it has quick attack. I'm taking the chance. Oh, the odds it has a quick attack. Also, oh, apparently, Applin evolves by an item, which I actually don't know how to evolve. And then we have. You know what? I'm going to the fighting time. I should have just went on to this. I said I was only going to use my original three, and then. I'm getting wrecked by this game. I hate this game. I actually do hate this game. Why did I play this game? Three plus two, I believe. Or plus sets or something. It's priority like high here pretty much. It goes through protect. So it's actually probably like plus sets. Get wrecked. Haha, <laughs> money. More like bad knee. You beat me. Guess you might not be too bad after all, huh? Yeah, I'm not terrible. I'm not terrible. You just got lucky. I'm actually triggered about that battle. Money's first battle. It was more challenging than the entire game of X and Y. I guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get to sleep too. Uala. That sounds like a country. Urala? Urala? That's the music I need to calm my soul at night. I know I should be recording this all in the morning, but I don't care. The next morning. There should become some kind of like epic voiceover for that. Morning, Edge. This guy, I feel. I don't like you. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Cabbage Lee Car is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. I have gotten Cabbage the Card. Can't we do that? Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Naughty. But you have no trouble beating that man of fire, um, Cabby chap, right? Why don't you uh, get over to Motorstock Stadium and get that gym badge ready? That bone hill. Because she roasted me. And bad, I'm getting out of here. I don't care. I quit my job just so I could watch the gym challenge. Ah! You can, you can go up. This thing has flaws. I've come to watch the matches at Motorstoke Stadium. When they're really good, you're gonna heal the chills all the way over here at the hotel. Fantastic. Don't have to pay for tickets to watch the challenge. You can just stay in the hotel and just imagine it and listen to the sounds. When you watch a match at the stadium, you can feel the vibrations coming right through your feet and echoing throughout your body. Fantastic. Door? Haha. <laughs> Breaking and entering. The TV has been left on. The ultimate prank be something in the trash can. Of course, this is Generation 5, isn't it? A beautiful day outside. Mega Lavinia place? I want to be surprised. There'll be fought into Mega Lavinia in Generation 9. Oh, the dude's, um, going to show too. Do it. And... Ultimate prank. You never know. You will never know. I noticed something shiny on the ground while I was running in the wild. Right? So I went to investigate. Guess what I found? Star pieces, a whole bunch of them. Here, you can have one too. Give me more than one. That's garbage. I am the million yo. A million, a million yo. Yeah, I got some eyes and some glue clothes. Actually, as you can tell, I got a wonderful new shot. I actually really like this shot. This is like my new combo for the game. I really, I want to get a new bag and everything, but I actually want to get like a regular backpack and not this stupid bag. But if I can't, it's not the worst thing in the world. Ward. What's in this? It's two people. Luckily, two people are still below my IQ of drinking. Ha! Get pranked! That's the Dynamax plan! Having a Pokemon Town gigantic, gigantic in Stadium Store is... Let's not read him. The Richard is starting a Dynamax plan. I hope your wishes come true. I hope for a game that's actually good. I want Koi Simulator 2. Game Boy Advance. Oh, there's a pan jump in this. They're close to the TV, but they will never know us! Nothing in the trash cans, of course. 
No, not talking to you, Panchamp. Leon is the best, and his Charizard pose is the best too. Ah! That grins my mind doesn't know what he's talking about. When it comes to the Charizard pose, there's no way Leon can outshow me. Please, get me out of this room. I do not need to learn about the undefeated champion of the Galar region that has the Charizard that's pants with directions. Actually, we didn't read Cabbage Leaf Hard. That must become a tradition. We have to read this, um, oh, quote unquote read. You know my reading. Oh, I have to go like this. Kirby is a Pokemon trainer who was invited from the Hoenn region. There were a few times where he's very close to becoming the champion, or becoming champion, but victory always seemed to elude him at the very last moment. Because of this, he adopted the no holds build approach for, to battling for a, t a time, but um, even that did not bring the results he wanted. He even dropped to the minor division at one point, but after a fantastic battle with Leon, he regained faith in his own potential. His motto is to keep learning and training as long as he is alive. Hone sucks. Actually, Hone's not a bad region. I hate just I just hate Gen 3. I hate how Gen 3 feels. I know this is really weird. I just hate how it feels. I hate how it looks. I hate everything about it. It's not really like a hate. It's I guess it's actually a hate. I like I don't hate, actively hate it. There's something about it that's like doesn't feel good about it. Like I want to play it for fun. The season is always the busiest, or this season is always the busiest, what with the gym challengers and toss the draw. And I like Generation 4 a lot, so, as I say, as I haven't played anything but Hot Quartz or Silver more than like once or twice, and I haven't finished Diamond and Pearl, and I'm gonna beat Platinum like two times. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I can't be like, oh, Generation 4 is better than Generation 3 since I haven't played like a Generation 4 game in a long time. It's hard. It's the legendary heart. He is the brother of the undefeated champion. What does he have to say? Slow moving, aren't you, Edge? I've already gone and first, um, already gone and owned my fire batch. That man of fire can be just what you expect. Nearly got bolt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touched and go, but I won in the end. You shift on Edge. I bet you could beat the man of fire too. Obviously, I have almost. 50% of the Pokemon is completed. Do you see me? I'm a Pokemon master. 50% of a Pokemon master. The bestest of trainers. A dialogue? I've made it this far at least, but now I'm not sure if I can make it any farther. Can I really beat the Fire Gym? I don't know. You know, Fire Gyms suck. That means you suck if you're down yourself. Wait a minute. Does that say 69? This is 591. I am blind. I am going. Hey, Gym Charge. Work um, well, welcome to We don't have any too many. Challenger since our leader Kabi has made his championship hard. Uh, happy to get you as your once. I am ready. If you heard the chance of the gym, we're asked to change into your uniform first. Default uniform because we are default in the gym challenge. 420? Fantastic. You may find the final gym missions a bit different from the others you faced. In you go. How different? I really like that badge. Oh, I also found all the what Pokemon you can use. That's the Vulpix. Um, it's like the Evolution of Sizzlepeed. I found it in like a raid battle. It showed up. I was like, oh, whoa. Okay. The gym mission for the final gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. This is the bug catching event from Hot Corn and Soul Silver and Crystal and God and Silver. I love that. On five points to, um, on the gym or to battle the gym leader. In case you're running, you earn one point for dealing one Pokemon target quest, two po points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining your battles. Try to think of what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Quick fall. Quick fall. Did someone say quick fall? Wow. It's a. It's a. It's a shut no. You can't hit a wild scissor pee. I really like the background for this, actually. Okay, you see this? You see this slanted right there? We don't think about it. We have one quick bar. Go! One. Two. Three. Captured. Absolutely wonderful. Can I release you now? Actually, I bet I can't release you. Oh, that's fine. Oh, this is involved. I actually, I actually got spoiled it literally like a couple hours ago because building my filter, I figured out literally everything else Pokemon. 
There's some few things, and one of them was, I believe, Pogames video? Might have been Chimpax, or Berlando's, or a lot of Envy. One of those two was something about Bot Hound, so I already know what this evolves into. And actually, I have to say, it looks like um, an electric type Zygon. Or Zygon Dog. And I love it. Like, this thing is fantastic. This thing, I actually love it. Like, Yampo, I did not like, I want to be honest. But Bot Hound? A Bot Hound? Just really pushes it up the uh, Pokemon I actually want to use. There's so many Generation 8 Pokemon I want to use. Oh damn, the dog Pokemon is a pure electric type, not fairy, because you know, why would we make it fairy? It would be actually the opposite of Psygod, because Psygod is dragging ground, and it would be electric fairy, and it would be the opposite pretty much. Oh, you get it? It sends electricity through its legs to boost the strength, running at top speed, it easily breaks 50 miles per hour. Oh yeah. How oh, wonderful. Yep. Go to the bots. Challenger Edge claims two points. How fantastic. Is that what I think it is? Is that the flame from a lyric? Should I we go? Okay, well. Try TM. I show you look, it's non existent. You know what? Everyone has these bug types and fire types, but I only need a quick ball. That's a critical ch capture. Critical capture in the house. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you don't know there's like this swift head store on the wall, and some of them have like holes in the wall because someone that used to live there hang stuff the wall. So it has holes in it. And then like it has a weird head store that like are uneven, so it looks like there's bugs on the wall and I have PTSD from the old house I lived in. Which was a disgusting piece. Like I actually hated it. Like it was so disgusting, no one would live there. Look with the candle Pokemon, the younger the life the Pokemon. The younger the life this Pokemon absorbs, the brighter and earlier the flame on its head burns. I love that wick. Go into the bots. Edge Challenger has already claimed himself four points this one more to victory. Why am I leaning off with the Pokemon that might not be the best actually in this challenge? Actually, I might use Bolt Hound over like Dot Dot on this challenge. You know what? This is the team I'm going in with. Get rid of my bug type for once. If I came out with like a bug guys, type out actually die. Boom! What's this? It's just the legendary. Oh, you can actually fail this up there, I think. If you only defeat like all of them, you won't be able to get enough points. Interesting. I actually need a Vulpitz. Vulpitz is uh, another critical capture. This is what happens when you get 50% of the Pokédex. You become a god at capturing everything. Oh, I was trying to perfect his technique at the beginning of the game. Now I made fun of him, but he did not know how to do it. And I regret making fun of him. He was right. It's all in the way you throw that Pokemon. Vulpin Slater will be added to the Pokedex. Vulpin is the fox Pokemon. As this tail grows, it falls become more lustrous. When held, it feels slightly warm. Nope. I actually think this is a sword exclusive and Growlithe is a shield exclusive. I think. Congratulations on a mission cleared. That just might not be for this game challenge, they give you a chance to catch it. Glowing leaders Kabu's mission like that. You're positively on fire. Next you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Also, I'm still doing my Pokedex voice because that's that's something I just got used to. Ah, uh, this is the public gym for 420. And today we have Edge going slightly to the left. I actually have Joy-Con Drift and it's annoying. I actually hate my life. Ah, uh, yes. That's actually me. That's actually me. That's actually me. Wait. Kabby, how you do that? I did not see you. Okay, Kabby. Show me your moves. Show me your moves. Really? I love this gym battle already. Give me the gym badge now. We walked 50 miles. Welcome, I am Cavalry, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessus water type Pokemon too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. 
I like this actually stadium. I actually really like this one. Enemy cab you. Yes, there we go. You got challenged by Jim Little Cab you. Actually, that kid's designed a lot. Jim Little Cab you sell out nine tails. No, a long one. Is he gonna have drought? Is he leading with a drought solo beam team? I think that's, I'm gonna try. Okay, I don't think there's any drought. Okay, there's no drought. I don't think there's a drought up. Is my snarl. So I'm on par, by the way. Oh, load on one Pokemon. I have been. I avoided the attack. My luck. It's coming back to me. The luckiest person that has ever created. Also, I'm listening to the full battle theme on YouTube, and this is fantastic. It has three modes, like I thought. Like I thought I would. Um, it has one where you knock out a Pokemon and goes to that mode for like the first part of it, and then it gets back into the Eggzone, and then the final one is fantastic. I love the gym battle theme music in this game. And here's a bunch of attackers. I've been lowered even more. Ooh, quick attack. He knew he can't do anything to me, so he has to use quick attack to get in the last chip of damage. Imagine being that bad. I have a feeling that he's going to heal up now. Please don't heal. Yes! Kep oh, I really like Kebby animations, actually. Like in the background, he's like, Wah! Wah, Luigi! My tails have been defeated. Go back to your owner. You never show your face in this battlefield again. Oh, Sucker Punch? this I really love these parts again oh uh, this is Thiever not go bunny better than thief I guess actually thief is probably better because you get thief like blood cake and stuff chance he's on the wild probably Jim little cabby so not Arcanine and terminated he seemed to got a, a big knock in this game Uh, 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 I'm just gonna snarl them. I think they got big knobs. Hey, 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 let's, let's uh, not do that. Let's talk this out. Let's talk this out. We can, we can talk this out. See? Talking it out. Woohoo! Is the audience chill when I got a critical hit? I love this. There's only find person in this game that I really love. It's kind of sad that this game could have been so small. Like, there's effort in this game. It's just that, I don't think the effort that they put in the game. It's the best could have done. Like, imagine this game had one more year of development time. It had at least 600 Pokemon. That's what I was expecting, because that's why I had 721 models made for the game. All, like, brand new, like, no porting, like this game. Okay, well, I'm going to go for Nasty Plot. You never expect my Nasty Plot. I was looking for, like, 600, but... I like how to do a new Pokemon. Close, but not... Like 87, I believe. No. Kind of disappointing, but the game isn't terrible, so I can still complain, but not much value in this. Also, can I explain to you how much I like and uh, um, hate how they made Combi 2, aka Slandit? It's a 12.5 chance to get a female Slandit. So I've gotten two male Slandits. I'm like, I want to evolve this immediately so I can get a Slazzle to throw my Pokedex. That annoys me so much. And the stain's dead. The, st the stain's just dead. Flame wheel? More like. Garbage wheel? I had to think actually. Uh, die. Yes. One has been down it. I have been bored. It goes into it when a Pokemon faints. Light that. Fire and get your mind moving, Cabu. There's still time to do this. I don't know. Hey, look, this is fantastic. I love this one. Okay. These people. What my never before seen. Suckle. Punch. These people I've never before seen my suckle punch. A bomb boy, Cinder Scott. Let Gigantamax change your size. Wait, he's getting Gigantamax? Did he hit this ice catch fire for a second? Did it got Gandamax here? Did this regular? No, that's different. Oh, that's definitely different. Uh. That, uh, maybe I should have actually, like, Z moved. Uh. uh 
every time these Dynamax Pokemon are always being overpowered and overpowered. Look at this. Redonkulous. Why does he always ch I'm over here, skip. Okay, Bot Hound, I actually want you on my team. I actually really like Bot Hound. Bot Hound. Bot Hound. It's not Bot Hound. Uh, you see this Nuzzle here? Please? Okay, please. This Pokemon's apparently fast. You have been penalized. My luck is unbending. Don't need any Dynamats, that guy got Dynamats. Those are lame strats. You see my pure flinch hats. See, look. You have been demonetized. That's about when you get Dynamat, um, de demonetized and you can become small. See, how does it, you bug bite me. After all of that, I walked out. You decided that bug biting me was the plot. No, 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 no. You see. I can get big too. And as I get big, I do not just do it for a fancy thing and be like, I need my last chance. No, I get big to destroy your Pokemon. To spark it. To Z spark it. I don't know. It's like math lightning, I think. You're dead now. Watch. Mass lightning. There we go. Look at that. Dead. Gone. Absolutely destroy, you could say. Yep. Easy game. That's kind of challenging. It's more challenging than like at some margin level. Really, so. I feel like that guy in Gatamats so actually could have destroyed me if, he had, if I didn't get a nuzzle off and didn't get pair of hats. A great Pokemon Adrenal and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. You only need pair of hats in this game. I like Pokemon. It's actually a new member of my team. Dunfist? No. I had like a lot of Pokemon I want to put up on my team, but Boathound? Actually fantastic. I'm also regarded as the final or the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. You clearly you have talent. Your talent has surprised my many years of experience. I just don't have much to learn. And I, um, and I now know that you and your Pokemon will be a fa become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you the, f um, you give you a fire badge as proof that you defeated me. Thank you. Yes, yes, I got a fire badge. It looks sort of complete. Pokemon up to level 35, I still can't catch the level 50, so I don't know why I hate this. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gallows region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our, our cultures alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. Your dots will, pill, uh, will be the pillars for you to build on. Fantastic. Edge. I figure. Why does they capitalize my name on? Garbage that. I figured that anyone could do it, but you and Thievo would be the ones. But still. I disagree. With Thievo, what's garbage? Thievo was the epitome of garbage in that entire match. Yes, it came through for a little bit, but I think Bond really showed us what a good Pokemon is. And uh, for, because of that, I think Bond is actually replacing Thievo now, huh? That match had me right on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you get it? You get it? He said edge of the seat. My, my, my name is Edge and you get the... You get the... Uh, yeah. Funny joke. Pop. I must call him Hal. Challenger Edge. I see, you be, uh, I see if you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges for the fire, water, and... Fire, water, and grass gems. This is just this team to come out of it. What you have com accomplished me out today. Accomplishment. I can't do it. We've gotten Will-O-Wisp. And take one of our design uh, or one of our uniforms. It's the same design, Cabby Room himself. Absolutely wonderful. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that wait you done in the city of Hammerlock. Yeah, okay, it was Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city and then make your way to Hammerlock. Hammerlock is one of the places, um, I believe it's the second place where you can get the item to evolve, um, in order to get our creamy form, so that's gonna be fantastic for my grinding. With all the badges we've owned ourselves, I reckon should we um, we should be all right against the first Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find ourselves. Fun fact: the like bridge that separates the way to get to Hamrock, like after and before, are like completely different. 
the ones after are actually weak more than the people on um, the Pokemon before. You got like, I believe you have like a Steelitz so that's like level 50 and a Covenite that's level 50. And then you go on the Wido, it's like level 5s. It feels easy. What are you gonna say? The Pokemon really got stuck and did your best from them, didn't, um, didn't they? When I watched your first match, I was the one who ended up feeling fired up to carry on. Thank you. That's Leon. Um, that's Leon for you, isn't it? He must have seen a glance. Have um, he must have seen a glance how much potential you had, and that's why he chose to endorse you. Yes, me, not how, not how. Yeah, that's how. You beat Cabby fellow. Oh, you beat that Cabby fellow. You really are a great challenge. At this rate, I bet you will. Um, I bet the other gym challengers will start wanting to test the medal against you. Please don't. Am I online? I'm not online. I have airplane mode on. Please get me out of here. No, don't talk to me. I already talked to you. This is like the Pokemon statues in like Generation 1 Pokemon Mansion. How fantastic. Good scene time, I bet. Yeah, look, yeah, that was like a long loading screen for this game. Running together with how? I keep on how. That's fantastic. Why? I don't know. Because they stop with H. Oh yeah, up edge. Got. Huh? It's you. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off. Oh, I bet you already can tell that I'm the one who become the best champion, yeah? There are many fans who never managed to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge together altogether. So I make a point to see any trainers who are able to defeat me. Oh, that's such kind of nice. Oh, and them too. Ooh, we made it. Thank goodness for the flying tatsies. I know, like I imagine. It's a tatsy flying, with, but with the Corviknight. Things. I know, this is funny. I, just, I don't know why I thought of it. Edge Hop, congratulations! It's pretty amazing to see you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challenges are able to get the gym badge from Kabu. We'd like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. Fantastic. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Ah, yes. Hustle, hustle, hustle up, and you can do it, you can do it, Edge. Fantastic. Cabu, 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 yeah. Cabu is my new favorite character. The gym leaders will, um, the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prefer. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thank you. Oh, thanks, you all. We're going to keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Go on, Edge. Let's head to Hammerlock. I agree. The world reveals Cabu is a stalker. And then he's actually the champion. He's actually the one that runs with Charizard. He's the undefeatable Leon in disguise. Makes sense. He's a fire gym that I don't know where I'm going. Hello again, my old friend. I've come back to you and stronger than before. I I I, I was literally just for Edge Hamlock is up that way. Got it? Yeah, I went up there. I followed so exactly. Head online, you can see people in the world. And I was following someone. I was like going circles on them, and they got so annoyed that they started to chase me off. Like I knew it. It was just, like, I don't know why I know that. I just kept going around. I followed them all through my other, and then they went across the water, and I'm like, oh. I don't have the ability to do that yet. They have outplayed me. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single tutorial, but now that you and I have a, f a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. Fantastic. My level 40 God of Vital, actually, he's on level 37. Um, we'll actually be able to do something. So now I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page of my tale of my legend. I also have a level 42 Relicness. Talking about Relicness, whatever. It's BD. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you will ever make it to the gym challenge anyway. I have 198 Pokemon on my Pokedex. What do you have, BD? But you have like three or four. The champion must really have been off his rock or and toast the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop can with heal can with throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. But like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. I tell him, fine, I'll buy you over there. Maybe that will help you find understand how weak you are. You're on there. I know you challenged Edge to battle and Gallo mine too, and you lost him though. And I'm his greatest rival. But the maybe we we'll tone down a little bit, Hop. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this um, prattle about Edge and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you. 
I show this Wally my real skills in battle. When I hold Wally, the only thing I could think of is Wally from Generation 3 and how um, he was actually garbage in like the original Generation 3 and then of course Generation 6 how a wonderful Generation that is actually made Wally a good character. Just hating on Generation 3, another day! Another Generation 3 hating in my video. So see you later, this is me up in Hum um, Hammerlock, Hammerlock when I'm through with them. No, no, don't go that way. We. Oui. Just both of them. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Well, by the whole, I'm gonna be from this house. You see, all oh, of this. That's unexplored territory. Unexplored big things, and that's gonna bother me. So I need to end this episode and go to Hamlock, actually. So. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, let's play with me. Well, you put the like button. We did a lot in this video, and I don't think you should dislike it because we actually did a lot. But if you dislike it, press the dislike button. And me at the end of the video, well, be subscribed. Press the subscribe because you'll be notified when I upload more Sword and Shield content, including this let's play and potential competitive battling videos. Maybe Shiny Honey, if I realize, um, if I ever get the Shiny Trump, because that's actually what I need. It balances out my bad luck. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day, night, morning, or whatever time it is for you. But goodbye.